Hello and welcome everyone in the session about how to use the open and safe file dialog with PowerShell. So in PowerShell we have a feature to utilize all the .NET features available. So all the functions, directive and assemblies can be used in PowerShell as well, uh, which is available for any C Sharp or VB.NET applications. So we will utilize one of the feature that is windows.forms and uh, we will utilize to create an open file dialog and save file dialog with this. So first this will write a script about open file dialog and the next one will be the save file dialog. And in both the cases we are going to use system.windows.forms. So uh, let's have a demonstration here. Okay. Uh, so here we have created two files. One is the open file. The next one is save file.ps1 and uh, either you can create a single file which will have two functions for the purpose. So uh, first thing what we are going to do is uh, we will load the assembly. And uh, that can be done with system dot reflection dot assembly and then we load with the partial name and here we pass system dot windows dot forms okay when you run this you see the version and uh, you see the the assembly location so this is C windows uh, microsoft.net then assembly so this will be the full location of this uh, assembly loaded uh, because we don't want output to the screen we can set a wide the next thing what we're going to do is we'll create a function that will be open file and this function will accept at least one parameter at initial directory and this initial directory will set so that it goes to the same location I've created one file here in this location and I have put three lines test one test two test three and uh, we'll call this based on that so on the first element is to open file and this is the variable and we set it and we call it new object system dot windows dot forms dot open open file dialog so this in a this one is an object and if you see um, there's one typo so um, this open file will have all the methods and properties set in this open file dialog class we can check it with get member And it will show you all the related stuffs um, but, but before we do this we will open file and we will set this location although till now this location is not important okay so you can see we have three items here we have three events and we have few methods and properties in properties you can see initial directory and we have a title and we have file name and rest all things so i uh, will use rest all uh, i'm just commenting because this part is not important so we'll see the open file so we we'll see the open file dot initial directory that will be set with the initial directory here and dollar open file and we add a filter and that filter is uh, filter you see here if you draw save as and then you run uh, you will see so many things so uh, we will create a filter like this and this filter is very much useful in, mo in most of the cases so all files then put star dot star and then pipe star dot star 
So this is the actual filter and uh, this part will be displayed to the screen when the dialog appears. Okay, now the next is the open file and we simply showed this dialog. And uh, while we're showing this dialog, we will put out to null and uh, then we'll return dollar open file dot file name so uh, we can see uh, this will go here and we run it at least once so we can see this this is the file which is getting displayed here so we'll store this file into the open file event and if if dollar file is null set to nothing what we will do is um, then we will set it to if nothing is set then we'll put e echo and uh, set nothing was selected that is your message you can put it in your way and the next is the echo part and here we set user has selected dollar file and uh, after this we will open that file to demonstrate that okay so when we open it we can see user has selected and this is the file content so uh, the open file part is done uh, similarly uh, we'll do the similar operations here with save file dialog it's almost the same uh, we'll use the same uh, sorry oops yeah after the delete yeah so uh, we'll use the same assembly and this will be like save file uh, it will have the similar stuffs like initial directory and then we have we'll use the same um, this one that one was open file this is save file and then we set it with new object uh, system dot windows dot forms dot save file and uh, this code is not required here save file download and this will have similar properties and methods as we saw for open file also so we do nothing here much we just saved file and dot initial directory set with the initial directory and then save file dot and we use the same filter approach and uh, we set it with So this is all set and the next is uh, we save file dot oops, uh, show dialog and we show the dialog and we set it to null. The next is uh, we will return this file. So we just call it save file and initial directory is the is the same directory what we used earlier so save file will open that uh, dialog in this location and uh, not only this we'll set it to a value 
so uh, that value will be like dollar file equals to save file and here we does the same save file equals to nothing although echo is not required let's sake of simplicity we can use this and in the else part user selected dollar file and then we can echo something to that file this is the test and we set it to out file to dollar file okay so we open it replace it yes and the content is done now we'll test whether the file is having same content so this is the test so uh, this is working fine and uh, if you merge both of if you merge both of them then it will be better uh, for the script uh, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe us